Okay, so this video is about, well, it's another useless fact, but I find this stuff informative, um, especially when it's to do with food and diet and healthy fucking shit. Um, so I called it eating made simple. Not. It's not simple. Nothing about having healthy food is simple anymore. Like nothing. Everything is just you can't have this, you can't have that, you've got an allergy or you you have an intolerance to something. Um, so what's the difference between allergy and intolerance? Like, so you, an allergy, you are severely affected by it and intolerance is, you are, you can stomach it, but you probably get the shits later. Tell me. Now the simple words, this is a written down one, simple words that they wrote was, eat less, move more. Simple, really. The simple way is what they is what they wrote is what I read, which really is kind of true. Um, if you and sometimes I think of that too. If you know you're not going to be physically active, then maybe you shouldn't eat so much. And sitting down, like what I'm doing right now, <laughs> is not the way to get there. Like really, it's not. Um, and then it's like things you know, eat foods direct from plant or trees, not from packets. So. <laughs> You know, or in America, you know, the, the Twinkies or whatever you eat, you know, Tim Tams. Do you see a tree with Tim Tams hanging from them? No, you don't. So you can't eat them. Um, sometimes it's expensive to eat food from plants. It really is. And considering where I'm working currently, um, increasing prices is crazy. Like zucchinis are like 10 bucks a kilo, which is really ridiculous for zucchinis at this time. Um, we've never had them that high beans like 24 bucks a kilo like they're super expensive just crazy you know like the, the, the humble broccoli I'm pretty sure it's around eight dollars a kilo eight or nine bucks which is which is ridiculous fucking broccoli um but in the long run health benefits far outweigh the expense especially if you consider your life long term now that's something I was thinking about like when I read it I was I was thinking about it and I thought well really your body is a long-term investment if you think about investments and that's what I'm thinking about at the moment like investments and property portfolios and stuff like that which really your body is an investment so that's something that you should nurture like your trust fund or you know like your superannuation because it's a long-term thing so really you should be investing in your body as much as you can. If that means that you're going to spend that amount on it, then maybe you should. Especially if you have conditions or illnesses that aren't currently curable, um, that you you really need to seriously look after yourself if you want that long-term investment, which is your life, to pay off, which means to live longer. Which I want to. I, I want to live a long and fruitful, healthy life. Filled with everything. Filled with, with everything I can possibly get my hands on. And yes, sometimes that is bad food. But when you counteract with diet and exercise and trying to be seriously healthy, then you will get your long and fruitful life that you want, hopefully. In 1959, a cardiologist and his wife offered some advice on the matter. Now, this advice, maybe we should start thinking back to these, like seriously. Don't get fat. That was their advice. Don't get fat. If you are fat, reduce your intake. That's what they said. Restrict saturated fats. Saturated fats. Beef, pork, lamb, sausage, margarine, solid shortenings, fats in dairy. So reduce your meat and dairy intake. Stick to vegetable oils that keep fats under 30% of diet calories. So really, I mean, I don't use a lot of oil or butter, um, but it's in foods. The same as processed foods, there's certain things, it's just in the food. Fresh fruit, veg, non-fat milk products. But then you think about those, these no-fat things, they, they add other preservatives now. So in 1959, maybe these preservatives weren't around or they weren't labelled and they, they didn't actually have to address what additives they put in certain foods. 
avoid salt and refined sugar. Well, that's kind of a given considering what they actually do to your body. Um, good diets do not depend on drugs and fancy preparation. So if it's taking you a long time to prepare a meal, like with certain things or what you put in it, then it's probably not worth its time. So if you think about the basic meals of um, like veggies and stuff like that, which don't actually take long to prepare, you might cut and boil, cut and steam, cut and boil and mash, like it shouldn't take you very long. Plenty of exercise and outdoor recreation. They didn't say sports, it's just outdoor recreation. So even just probably getting outside might actually make a difference, which as I've said, when I do my hill run, um, being up the hill in nature, it does make a difference on you, your body, everything. Um, another thing that they talked about, organic. Organic foods, are they better for you? What's your thoughts? I say yes, but no for the reasons that you might think. What's your thoughts? Okay, so I did. I, I wrote down a few things. Like fewer chemicals in the body is one of the reasons that organic is good for you. But it makes no claims, like organic growers make no claims that organic food is safer or more nutritious. But organic food is grown in, in richer soil, so mineral content is higher. So the vitamins and minerals that you get out of your normal processed, chemically sprayed foods are diminished a little bit because of the chemicals that they spray on them. So organic foods with the less chemicals and the richer soil that they actually put them in have higher vitamins and minerals. So you do get more out of your organics. So organic food is far less likely to damage the environment and that's the reason that we should be eating. So eating organics is less damaging. And you know, I do, I think, I think with less chemicals and the stuff I read about the chemicals, like there's a difference. So yes, they still use, it's not technically using chemicals, like Whereas, okay, so normal processing farmers with standard foods, they will put like manure um, shit on the food, on, on, well, obviously in the soil that they're growing their food in. Okay, so it's the same as one of the things where China, where they grow their garlic, they have human feces. They put human shit in the dirt to grow their garlic and then they bleach it. So they bleach the garlic so it's white. There's a reason they do it is because they're growing it in fucking feces. So something you've consumed and then you've shit back out, they're putting it back on the food you're about to eat again, which is gross. Okay, so with organic foods, they still use manure of some sort, but it has to get processed first. It has to go through a system of fermentation and like compost before it actually gets to go into the soil to make the rich, moisture rich, oh, sorry, mineral rich soil to grow the food so when they when they say they actually don't use chemicals they, they they might not use chemicals at all or they will use something that has been broken down so the bad parts of that chemical or like human feces there's obviously disgusting parts that we shouldn't have on our food that's why they say to wash everything which i fail at that i don't wash like hardly anything um I always think it builds up an intolerance to immunity. If I happen to get sick, I get sick. What else? Um, I would probably go organic because of, of the way it's grown. But like I said, it's less damaging to the environment. Whereas all the other farmers, like they're damaging. But then in the long run, how much food we have to grow, how can every farmer have an organic farm? I mean, but then if you think about it, if we all had organic farms, the organic price would not be so high. Yes, for the short term period to get farmers to go organic, to reduce the chemicals that they put on there will cost a little bit more. And there's probably a big reaction about like, no, we don't want to go organic because processing is just, it's just too much. It's just easier and cheaper to grow this way. If majority of farmers went organic and they brought everything up to the same standard, then the price would go down. And it would be like a standard pricing where all of our food would just naturally be organic, which would be amazing. That will never happen. Useless fact over.